You've probably never heard of Alice Lloyd College. It's located in southeast Kentucky. It's a small school. But one that's making a huge difference in a lot of lives because the college is vastly different from any other. We're the only four-year degree-granting institution in the United States that recruits exclusively rural Appalachia. Alice Lloyd College is just off a of rural highway tucked down in a picturesque valley in the Appalachians. It's a long way from even a small city and hundreds of miles from any large metropolitan area. The 550 students come here from 101 counties in rural Appalachia, from Ohio to the northern tier of counties in East Tennessee. And any student who comes to us from one of those counties, we guarantee them the cost of education or their tuition. College President Dr. Joe Stepp was an Ohio State basketball player who became a college coach. He was recruited by Don DeVoe in 1983 to be an assistant coach at UT. But instead, President Stepp says God led him to Alice Lloyd College. The college is not supported by any church denomination, but is founded on Christian principles. And those principles govern the educational process and the code of conduct on campus. Every student is required to work to help pay for their education. I mean, you, get, you learn work ethic as well as, you know, you get to pay for everything and, you know, you just, you just work for it. And, I mean, that's a good uh, philosophy to have. Well, everybody has to work. Everybody's equal. That's what I like about this place, too. No one's above anybody else. The school began in 1923 when co-founders Alice Lloyd and June Buchanan came with the goal to educate mountain children. It has stayed viable all those years, relying a lot on faith. With no state or federal funding, the budget annually comes up about $2 million short. President Stepp says the good Lord continues to provide for the difference and additional funds for construction and endowment. Yes, sir. He sure has. God's good. The courses offered are wide-ranging and include pre-law, pre-med, and several other pre-professional programs. Students who graduate from Alice Lloyd College are well prepared. In the last five years, Every one of the graduates who applied for law school, medical school, any other graduate school was accepted, 100% of them. They are well prepared. And even in graduate school, anywhere in the world where the student is accepted, the college continues to provide financial help for those who qualify. We subsidize them based on need. And there's an unwritten pledge that when they complete their terminal degree, that they will return to Appalachia to the region and try to make a difference. And Alice Lloyd College and its graduates certainly are making a difference in Appalachia, one student at a time. By the way, every Tuesday is professional dress-up day for the students. We were there on a Tuesday. Tonight on the Night Meet, we'll tell you how the Mission of Hope is supporting Alice Lloyd. That school is a gem. It certainly is, Obviously. exactly. You call it. <laughs> well, as we told you at 6 o'clock, Alice Lloyd College in southeastern Kentucky was established just for students from the mountains. The founders of the college believe that education is one of the keys to solving the problems of poverty throughout the region, a belief shared by the Mission of Hope based right here in Knoxville. Bill Williams has more now in this 10 News Extra. Pam Adams is one of 11 children in her family and the first to attend college. Like all students at Alice Lloyd College, she earns her tuition by working hard. Pam has three jobs. <laughs> I am a resident advisor and a citizen activity director, and I work for Mr. Kennedy in his office as choir manager for the Voice of Appalachia. This is the group she manages and is a part of the Voices of Appalachia, the school's chorus. Pam is this year's recipient of the Mission of Hope Scholarship, an endowment established three years ago. Because of the work-study program and the scholarship, Pam and her family are able to afford the cost of college. It's just a better financial situation because we'd be in debt forever. Roughly 70%, 65 to 70% of our graduates each year are first-generation college graduates, or even college students. Roger Hall grew up in the White Top community on top of Mount Rogers in southwest Virginia. He's the first of his family to go to college. I was always determined. I always wanted to, but I never thought I'd quite make it because I'm not a, my family's not very rich, and uh, I never thought I'd be able to afford it. 
And Roger, who never owned a computer at home, now works in the computer lab and will graduate in December after studying computer information systems. Following postgraduate study, he plans to come back to the mountains. 85 or so percent are going back to the region. Uh, they are the, the doctors, the lawyers, the dentists, the educators. Alice Lloyd College in the last four years has been named the number one private school in the country whose students graduate with the least amount of education debt. There's something special about Ellis Lloyd College, something as important or perhaps more important than the financial help the students receive. People here care about what happens to you. It's a great experience to be here. Ellis Lloyd College is located in Pippa Passes, Kentucky. Well, it's about all there is of Pippa Passes. The name of the town is taken from the name of Robert Browning's poem. The last line of that poem is, God's in his heaven and all's right with the world. Well. Here in Pippa Passes, Kentucky, that's about the way it is. No Williams, 10 News. And if you would like more information about Alice Lloyd College, visit our website at wbir.com or the college website at alc.edu.